Hey, what's going on, chess lovers? This is Maurice Bishop Chess. See, y'all know my slogan, life is a game of chess. Hey, guys, I got this beautiful and crazy game that I definitely want to share with y'all. Uh, I played the White Lion game. Uh, pretty crazy, guys. So I definitely want to uh, jump right into this. Um, so without further ado, let's actually um, get started. Alright, so guys, I played as white, and he played as black. I played e4, d6, d3, uh, g6, and I played bishop d2. Now, guys, you're probably like, man, this is not the way of the white line. No, you're right. This is not the way of the white line. I actually uh, accidentally uh, had a mouse slip because I thought I was doing the knight d2, but I wound up going bishop d2. So that's pretty much what happened. And then after he goes bishop g7, you know, I wanted to protect the pawn, so... It wasn't really just the so-called protect the pawn because I could have protect the pawn with c3 or maybe knight c3. But again, guys, I want I, I, I just wanted to play the white line and uh, I just went back to bishop c1. So knight f6, uh, I play knight d2, castle king side, uh, c3, uh, c5 is played, and then I play queen c2. Uh, b6, knight f3, bishop b7, h3, knight c6, and then g4. Uh, as you can see, the engine is giving me a lot of uh, mistakes because it doesn't play. It, it's not thinking how I'm thinking, so it it has its own ideas. Um, so knight d7 is played. I played bishop b2. Uh, e5 is played. Then I played knight f1. And y'all already know, guys, when I go knight f1, I want to go knight g3. And then eventually go rook g1. And then eventually maybe go knight f5 or h5. Uh, queen e7 is played, and I played knight g3. Uh, f6 is played. Now, this was very crucial because uh, when he played f6, you got to notice something. Uh, when he played f6, notice that this dark square bishop is not in the game at all. Now it's not in the game because it's blocked by its own pawn. Uh, and it's, it's very inactive right now. So it's pretty bad. Uh, I played bishop b3 to develop. Eventually, guys, I wanted to go maybe queen d2 and castle queen side and maybe go bishop a6 to get rid of this uh, dark square bishop so I could cause uh, dark square weaknesses. Uh, that was the plan, but eventually, guys, I did another uh, mouse slip uh, after this uh, move, rook d8 and everything. Uh, instead of castling queen side, which I thought I was castling queen side, but I, I don't, guys, I don't know. My mouse had uh, another mind of his own I, I don't know but uh but the crazy part is after this whole um this king side castle uh it, it gets pretty uh crazy afterwards guys um so uh knight b8 king h2 knight a5 and then i go rook g1 all right and with rook g1 guys i wanted the uh the g file that's what i wanted um d5 is played uh and normally, guys, I, I know I play this like crazy, um, crazy, ridiculous. Uh, you're not supposed to play E catchers D5. Uh, but eventually, guys, I did play E catchers D5. I don't even know why I played it, but I did. Uh, but uh, Bishop catchers D5, and then I go Knight H4. And the whole purpose of Knight H4, guys, is I want to go Knight F5, and I want to open up the G5. I know a lot of y'all look at a lot of my Black Lion games and White Lion games. You know, so this is another technique y'all can use. I know the engine is not going to... It's crazy, though, because the engine tells me this is a mistake. But yet, you know, you, you, you'll see what's about to happen, though. All right. So after knight h4, uh, my opponent played queen b7. Uh, after queen b7, uh, I played the move knight h5. The whole point of knight h5, guys, if he goes g captures h5, I have g captures h5. And then, of course, guys... Uh, the G file is open, and uh, the rook is in front of the bishop. So the bishop can't move anywhere. Even if the king decides to go king h8, I have to move h6 where this bishop is trapped. Even if uh, black goes rook f7, I still have a6. The dark square bishop is still lost, so I still want a piece back. However, there is a, another move that uh, black could have done, uh, or could have, or... Like I said, he didn't take at all, but I'm just saying, if he takes, uh, if he had to defend, the best move probably would be king f7. Uh, even with king f7, uh, a6, king h8, and then uh, 
I know the engine says uh, B4. Uh, okay, now I say, because this is the move I was thinking of. Bishop H5 check. Uh, if King E7, uh, then probably B4. But e even after uh, this move um, B4, uh, it seems like, you know, White still has a powerful attack. Uh, it's, he's not like, a, he doesn't, it's not like a big percent of, you know, winning or anything. But at the same time, guys, you know, it, it definitely has the king in the center of the board. Uh, I, I do sacrifice like this because, again, look at this dark square bishop. This dark square bishop is out of the game. Uh, this knight on b8 is not in the game. And then this knight on a5 is on a rim. And y'all know the, the slogan, the knight on the rim is dim. So, you know, those are three minor pieces that are really not in the game and really not doing nothing. And yet... I have an open G file, you know, I have a beautiful uh, knight coming to F5, you know, I'm opening up the C file and eventually I could um, get my rook on the C file as well. It seems like, you know, white has uh, a lot more of an advantage and everything. And, I, and I'm just really liking this position, even if, you know, I'm down a piece and everything. It's like, I don't even feel like I'm down a piece because I got so much play. So that that's the reason why I was doing what I was doing. But, um... Uh, I'm not going to go too far in advance uh, with this uh, analysis here of what happens if he takes or whatever. Uh, I will leave a uh, analysis uh, in the description um, box so y'all could actually check it out. All right. So, uh, so after knight h4, uh, queen b7, knight h5. Obviously, my opponent doesn't take. He goes c4. Uh, so after c4, uh, I go knight f5. And this is crazy though because the engine said my knight h4 was a mistake. But then when I played the crazy move knight f5, now it's a brilliant move, which is uh, pretty crazy. Uh, and again, guys, like, and like I told y'all before, uh, it doesn't matter which knight he takes it with, because either way, I'm opening up the g file, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, that that was pretty much uh, my point of playing knight f5. The crazy part is he actually sees it, but he doesn't even take the knight at all. He doesn't take at all. Uh, he goes bishop on uh, h8, uh, which was a blunder. And as y'all already know, this was a sweet mate. Uh, knight a6 checkmate. <laughs> very, very uh, crazy, crazy uh, smothers mate. You know, even with my mouth slips and everything, uh, the crazy uh, shenanigans and everything, I managed to get a nice uh, smothers mate with... <laughs> with uh with the playing the white line so it's pretty crazy guys um so guys uh i know a lot of y'all been watching my white line and black line games uh, i thank y'all thank you all for uh buying my um black lion video course through sales and i know a lot of y'all been going on my maurice bishop chess university uh to learn uh, more of my opening and it's not even just more of my openings but even uh certain tactics and strategies that i uh, present to y'all so i definitely appreciate y'all uh definitely uh buying it uh and even getting in the course and all uh again uh you know, all, all, all my links, all my uh, Black Lion courses and uh, the Maurice Bishop Chess University is all in the description box. So if y'all definitely interested and want to learn more of how to win more games, even with the popular Black Lion or the L-Shot system opening, guys, then definitely uh, get into my uh, course, guys. Uh, you won't be sorry. All right. So again, guys, if you like this video, make sure you like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. And also, guys... Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Alright guys. Peace.